Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about uses for transformers. Now, in a previous video, I talked about transformers, how they're made, what they're made up of, and how to calculate whether a transformer is a step up or step down transformer. But we did discuss uses of transformers. Now one use of transformers is electricity distribution. Now, you may have your little uh, power station. So here's my little power station. And it could be a coal, wind, nuclear, anything. I'm gonna be a bit un environmentally unfriendly, make this a coal power station. Now, the, inside the coal power station, you've got generators that are probably going to make electricity of around uh, 25,000 volts. You may be thinking, wow, that's, that's a lot. But to make our energy distribution system, uh, going from our, our little power station here all the way to our home, your little house here. To make it more efficient, what we're going to do, we are going to step up the electricity on the power line using a step up transformer here. We are then going to step down when we get to our little, uh, little suburban area or maybe even a factory or a farm. Now, you might be thinking 250,000 volts is a lot, but it really isn't. Because when we get to the distribution stage, we use a step up transformer. It's probably gonna step this power up to something like 400,000 uh, volts. So we've got our Step up transformer here. So our little power cable. Let me use a different colour. And I'm going to draw a step down transformer here. So we've got our power cables going from our our little factory here. You're going to step up the voltage. Until finally, we end up home. We're going to have a step down transformer here. So we've got 25,000 volts coming out. Our step up transformer is going to take our electricity up to something like maybe 400,000 volts. Now the reason why you have such a high uh, step up is because by stepping up the voltage in a transformer, what you are doing is reducing the current. So although the voltage goes up, so V goes up, the current actually goes down. So the current is reduced. And let's just talk about this. We've got the formula P equals I times by V. If I increase the voltage and I want to get the same amount of power, I can actually have less current. So let me say that again. If I increase the voltage like I'm doing here, I can actually have less current going through my wires and the reason why you don't want current going through your, your system here is current generates heat in wires and effectively you're heating the countryside where all these wires go. It's a real waste of electricity. So in order to make the system more efficient, the voltage is stepped up so the current can be reduced, there's less heating in the wires and basically the electricity companies make, uh, well, save a lot of money. 
but you definitely don't want something like 400,000 volts coming into your house. So when you get to a residential area, the voltage will actually really realistically go through a number of step down transformers, but basically it will eventually be stepped down to something around 240 volts. So going from your power station, you've got 200, sorry, 25,000 volts coming out, stepped up to the national grid here. The current is reduced even though the voltage becomes so much higher. Then finally, when it gets to where it's needed, it's stepped down probably a several, several number of times until it gets to your home. And the reason why it's stepped up is just to reduce the current, reduce the amount of heat uh, being produced and to make the system more efficient.